Oh! I was about to buy him a steak, nigga, eat up and clean. Look in his eyes when I never want to see. Taking his soul when I dance on the beat. Spit in my mouth, I'm with all of this shit. Keep it on rubber bag, I'm gonna see. Shoot the club up with my name to the city. All verse rising my soul family so I'm gonna talk about this topic about this soulless vibrational being named Takia Heard, aka Takia Kima right you know I met this girl in 2020 right she was a former neighbor of mine you know I used to live next door to this girl back in 2020 and let me tell you something me and this girl never did anything together like when she saw me for the first time she literally thought that I was younger than her, right? She thought I was younger than her when I was actually the same age as her, you know? And it's crazy, too, because as, as soon as Takia heard me speak, she knew I was too much for her. She knew I was too spiritual, too otherworldly for her. And as you see in this picture, man, you know, this is like around 2020. She talking about, you know, in, a, in her caption, talking about catching more flights and less feelings, you know, it's funny she said this, right? Because, man, when y'all get to the, the next few pictures y'all see coming up next, y'all just going to laugh y'all asses off and be like, what was wrong with this girl? What was wrong with this girl? Because, as you see, man, the type of dudes that she choose, she choose niggas. She don't choose guys who carry themselves like gods. You can tell she always curved those geeks. Or just curve guys who are labeled conspiracy theorists because she don't be the type of female that wants to be educated and unlearn any indoctrination. She talk about in her caption, kick my last nigga to the curve for playing me like I'm basic. You see, this is a basic chick. I mean, this Takia girl, man. Like when I heard her speaking, she just like, you know, shone me away without getting to know me, even though we was like neighbors and she could see me every day, man. She like passed up on me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like she, soulless being, man. Like, look at look at this girl, man. She don't even look like a real soulful being at all. So let's get into the next pictures coming up, man. I'm just like, bro. <laughs> It don't even make no sense, man. Okay. Look at this right here, man. Look at this right here, right? You see, you know, a year later, you know, as I just noticed now, as I'm doing this video on 2022, you know, I met this girl in 2020, right? The girl knew I was her neighbor. She knew, she knew I had to be around the same age as her, man. You know, she... She she saw me all the time and never did anything with me because why our frequencies didn't match because I was too real of an otherworldly God to her and she choose niggas. She don't choose guys who carry themselves like gods and like, you know, guys who go defeat this matrix. You see what I'm saying? She talking about some bullshit talking about God definitely sent me an angel when he sent me you. I'm making sure you enjoy this weekend. I'm just reading this stuff, Mike. It's so funny to me, man. It's so funny to me talking about how she always knew what I expected love to be like, but I never knew what it would felt like to truly be loved by a man. I never expected a man to excel my expectations of love. What expectation did you even fucking have? Like, this girl was a hypocrite. Like, this girl is the type of girl who would, like, see guys who who has an aura that's like very soulful vibrational to the point like it's just too otherworldly for basic females like to care to even comprehend so when i read this caption bro like man it was one time when this girl was like drunk man and i was at this girl house man and like you know she would play all this like soulless vibrational music and she was like twerking with her girls and stuff like that right and i'm like bro and this girl talking about you made it so hard to not fall in fall in love with you. It was so easy to do. Everything just feels so right. You always say our first date was awkward. And I always tell you I knew that very day I was going to fall for your over talkative ass. OK, I'm just looking at this shit, man. You see, girls like this fit in the matrix, bro. No wonder why this uh, Takia girl and I never worked out, even though me and her was like former neighbors and shit like that. The reason why I never worked out with us because she fits in the matrix. The same dude that she fell in love with and had a child with, right? 
it's interesting that he had to had to be in a costume as the Joker. And, you know, the Joker represents like two face, you know, what I'm saying Joker represents two face, a covert narcissist. You know what I'm saying? So to kill him, you know, she liked them two face Joker type of people, man. Like for real, she that's what she goes for. The, the costume that the dude that she had a child with and hooked up with, you know, a year later after 2020. You know, he's a joker because she is a joke herself. She is a joker herself. You know, I'm just sitting here shaking my head at, you know, lame females like this. You feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all see it, man. Y'all see it, bro. Y'all see it y'all sales, man. I mean, we can go back and talk about this stuff, man. Because let me tell you something. It's so weird that a female that I was once neighbors with that never worked out at all you know that's why i'm saying like when it comes to spiritual beings like myself you see a female could be a, a female could be a neighbor towards me and stuff like that but you know as soon as she sees that i don't fit in the matrix and i i i'm not indoctrinated by any slave owner teachings or none of this stuff you know takia didn't go for me because you know i had i i had a huge purpose to heal this multiverse from a lot of slave owner evil you know what i'm saying and she wasn't even ready for that shit you know she wanted this slave owner indoctrination shit you feel what i'm saying want to get with these joker ass dudes and shit like the rest of these girls be doing out here on planet earth especially in countries like north america man even places like louisiana and shit you know like when you look at this shit man you look at this shit, man. You read the caption, bro. Do you really think Takia Heard would actually, you know, go for guys who are like label conspiracy theorists or label geeks and shit like that? No. Look at look, man. You could tell, bro. This this girl is a joke, bro. Like it's nothing natural about her, man. It's like she's just artificial. She looks artificial. You know what I'm saying? When I went to when I, like when I went to like her, the party that she threw when when she was drunk with her friends, man, I could see the soulless vibrational frequencies just rise, rising out of her, man. So you tell me, a girl that goes from a girl that goes from catching more flights and less feelings because she used to dealing with deadbeat dudes who carry themselves like niggas and not gods, you know what I'm saying? Takia don't even know what a god star is, a, a dude. Who was about that unk life. That all seeing my heart and soul eye unk life. You know what I'm saying? Like girls like the kid man. They be full of shit. They be full of shit man. You know what I'm saying? Me and her could have did a lot of things together. If if only she was one of these soulful vibrational beings. But she wasn't. She was part of Matrix. A girl like her. Go from talking about catching more flights and less feelings. Straight up to talking about. Some Some bullshit. Like a lot of these fake woke females on here talking about, you know, God this and God that. Talking about God definitely sent me an angel. Well, when I was your fucking neighbor, when I was your damn neighbor, you so you didn't see I was a soulful vibrational being. You couldn't even see that at all. Like you just passed on me because I didn't carry myself like a nigga that you like. I didn't fit the society's uh views of what a real man supposed to be which is a deadbeat dude a dude who like it be like these fucking dudes in these fucking love drama movies that that you be watching and shit you know a dude that makes your vagina wet and, and also gives you drama at the same time like i wasn't that kind of dude you know you could so you couldn't even withstand my soulful vibrational frequency and you couldn't handle my serious or so you had to get with a lot of these joker ass dudes that you be hooking up with and shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I got a video, man. You know, I got this video done and shit, man. Because y'all need to see that, John, man. Y'all need to see this, John, right here, man. This girl's a joke. The same dude that she had a children with. He had to be dressed up as the Joker. You know, the Joker represents a narcissist. A two-faced joker, you know, they say people, you know, they say the people, the costumes that people choose really says a whole lot about them. Really. 
really. So she was like his Harley Quinn. And she is his and, and he is her Joker. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That's crazy how I just see that, man. Like it's just artificial about everything is just artificial about that girl, man. Like let's let's take a look. Like if you look at the eyes and everything, bro, like it's empty, bro. Empty, bro. Empty, bro. It's just like artificial. It's like artificial light, bro. That is crazy. But man, that is crazy, bro. Cause I just like I don't understand how a lot of these so called honey trapping females just like be faking on here, man. <laughs> like and you could tell she be faking it. She be faking everything on here, man, from the hair to the everything. It's just wow, man. She just like she is a fake individual, you see? She be faking, man. Like this shit, like and this shit here, this girl Takia, her definitely a fucking narcissist. She is not a sweet person and not the kindest people to exist. Because let me tell you something. If she saw a fucking if she saw a dude who's who was labeled a geek or a conspiracy theorist, man, she ain't about to be friends with them because she has this fucking she has this fucking arrogance stuck up superior complex you know what i'm saying this girl is not no fucking empath because if if, she, if this takia girl was an empath me and her would have been cool me and her would have been like you know very close in 2022 if when when i met her in like 2020 man like when i went out my way and speak to her she had like she ain't had no time for me and shit you know and like you know thought she was superior and shit and she didn't take the time to get to know me like a real soulful being because she's so used to dudes like you know sweet talking and running game and shit you with her lame ass you know what i'm saying like you know fake female souls vibrational females like this man they just a waste of fucking time you know what i'm saying like i'm glad i don't even I, i'm glad i'm not even neighbors with this female no more man because man it was a fucking drag just to wake up every day having to realize a female that's like next door is not of my fucking frequency and shit man you know what i'm saying i'm like bro that shit's crazy though that shit's crazy dog like but hey man you know, she the one who knew I went out my way to give her a chance. You see what I'm saying? I went out my way to give this soulless vibrational demon a chance. But, you know, she blew it. You know what I'm saying? She the one who shunned me. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So, I'm like, you know, screw this soulless vibrational being. For real. <laughs>